What up, y'all? What up, my green kitties? What are you guys doing? Hi, green kitties! Hey! So, listen, I got a lot of you guys, um, uh, what you guys are thankful for in the comments. I appreciate it. Y'all, it's nighttime. I was like, you know what? I'm on my way to the house. It is 6.46. I've been out all day, uh, getting ready, getting prepared for tomorrow. Um, I'm done. I'm happy. My food, uh, me and the lady, uh, met up today. I got all my food. It looks pretty good. Um, so all I gotta do is put it in the oven tomorrow. Um, my husband, I sent him on a mission to go get the honey baked ham. First, I went, right? And that line was stupid long, right, y'all? So I was like, okay, you know, I ain't gonna be able to do it. So then, I sent him, and he was like, babe, this line is so long. I said, well, listen, they open tomorrow, so you gotta get your ass there, like, early, early in the morning, okay? And get us a ham and a turkey. Now, I was gonna get it delivered to my house, but that shit was uh, $65, 70 bucks just to deliver already a hundred dollars a turkey. What the fuck? I'm not paying a hundred, almost two hundred dollars, and I'm down the street from it, so fuck it. So, um, hopefully, we succeed. Okay, in there, I don't know what you want me to do right now. Anyway, hopefully, we succeed at it. If not, y'all, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out, okay. I was thinking about getting a goddamn ham. This all ain't hams already made at the grocery store and shit. Put some pineapples on in the cherry and throw it in the oven, okay? Listen, I ain't got no teeth. I don't give a damn. My kids don't even know it was Thanksgiving, all right? Shit. I'm gonna do I did. Back. Look at him. He talking about he did. Oh, shut up. My own business. So anyways, I'm at McDonald's. I'm busy. Hey. I'm at McDonald's. I'm on my way home, you guys know I get better internet service here at McDonald's. So I'm stealing some of their turn that phone down. I'm um stealing their internet before I go to the house while the kids are eating dinner. They chose to have Jack in the Box. So I got her a teriyaki bowl and the boys got them a kids meal, chicken nuggets, and then I got me some chicken nuggets or whatever. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't do anything today, you guys. Just been running around, trying to get this, trying to get that. Oh, this is my cake, though. I just met with her up again, the lady who make, who cooked my food for me. Sorry, y'all. My light. I'm in my wagon today. Say hi, y'all. Say hi, Green Kitty. Say happy Thanksgiving, Eve. Say happy Thanksgiving, Eve. Happy Thanksgiving, Eve. I mean, Joel, say happy Thanksgiving, Eve. Oh, hi, Y'all, they on their phones, honey, and they don't hear nothing, okay? Yeah. Nothing. And that gonna be Joel, make sure you finish eating, y'all, because when we get in the house, it's going to be time to, to, to wind it down. Happy Christmas, um, I want to show y'all my outfit, too, y'all. It's so dark because it's black. But this is that sweater that I had gotten, y'all, from that place, and it's open in the back. It's, like, sheer in the back. It's really cute. And then I got, like, these cute little pleather. Leather, leather pants on, and I got my little cute old uh, sandals, and then I got my um Louis. Oh shit, hold on, y'all. My all black Louis bag. So I was looking cute today, and the lady, listen, you know what? The lady who cooked my food is my hairdresser, and she was like, "Listen, you look like Andre 3000, Nick Cannon, all that put together." Come on in so I can do your hair. So Friday at 10 a.m. she gonna do my hair, y'all. Because I told her, you know, hold on. Let me show y'all the cake. My son got into it because I was outside talking to her. I had met her up, met up with her. And so I'm outside of my car talking to her while the kids is in the car. And and so, you know, he didn't pick at it a little bit with his little hands or whatever. But this is the pound cake that she made. Cause I told you, she did a sweet potato pie. Now, this is the pound cake. Or whatever. So, I... So, basically, my Thanksgiving is done. I got cranberry sauce. I, you know, my Thanksgiving is done. I can't wait for tomorrow, okay? Um, I don't even think I'm inviting anybody over. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, yeah, I don't... It's just gonna be me, my husband, and my kids. I'm gonna try to play some games with them. I'm going to try to loosen up, relax a little bit, try to drink some wine, maybe get in my jacuzzi. I don't know, y'all. 
Um, but just really relax and try to get this holiday over. But there's two things I want to get on here to talk about, y'all. Number one, thank you for the new subscribers that I'm having. I thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys for the ones who do listen. Because I only got four motherfucking people in my comments. Which, I, all y'all, is, uh, it's a lot more people watching me. Y'all leaving a goddamn comment. What you thankful for? Y'all don't follow instructions for shit. Okay, so we can all know what everybody's thankful for. And everybody's, a lot of, four people told me what they were thankful for. That was really good. And I told y'all what I was thankful for. And we need more people, okay? But I want to tell y'all this. Number one, always be good to people, no matter what. And I know that's a cliche. Everybody say that. You know what I'm saying? But really, for some people, it's harder for people to be nice to people. It is hard for people. Not for me, though. For me, it's easy. I have no problem. You know, um, even when people are fucked up people, I still don't know how to be evil or mean to them, you know. But some people are good at it. They are great at it. But, you know, be good to people because you never know when you're going to need somebody. You never, you guys, I already told you what I'm doing. And you already know what that means. So I don't know what we're doing. Um, let me tell you why. So, you know, to get my hair done, normally... Uh, she charges sixty dollars, right? But you guys know I've never paid anybody what they what they asked for. I always pay them more. So every time I would go to get my hair done, which is which was once a week, I would pay her two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for doing my hair, and a hundred dollar tip. That's just how I roll, right? So when this new me became, when I became you guys, you know what? We're gonna say the B word, but okay, because that means blessed and all that. But when I, you know, became the B word, I, you know, I didn't feel comfortable. Parent, you know, going to her shop knowing I couldn't really do what I used to do. So I just didn't go, you know. Um, and so I didn't tell her, right? I didn't tell her what was going on. So when we talked a couple of days ago about the food or whatever, I have to only tell her. She was like, girl, how's your hair looking? So I had told her. I said, girl, it's looking crazy. It's looking crazy. I know I'm, I'm in this parking lot and shit. And um, it's daylight and I'm in my car and shit. And it's the holiday, so when y'all see me looking around, y'all know why. So anyway, um, she was like, so when I told her, she was like, let me tell you something. You can get your hair done for me every week. I don't care. You come because when you, you loved on me. You know what I'm saying? You looked out for me. You know what I'm saying? You come and get your hair done. And I was like, no, nah, I wouldn't. I said, thank you, but I would never, you know, come and not knowing I can't. You know what I'm saying? I would never do nothing like I can't really give you what I was giving you. She, let me tell you something. You, pay, you have given me what you what you believe. She said, but never, but also never turn nothing down somebody give you or whatever. So I thought that was really sweet. And I thought it was really nice. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I give and when I love on people, well, first of all, when I give, that's me showing love, right? That's number one. But number two, when I give, I don't expect mm. anything. I don't expect for anyone to be great to me. I don't expect no one to be bad to me. I don't expect anything. I don't do it for expectations. I just do it because if it feels right to me and it makes me happy, so I do it. Um, never to think uh, that I'll get a comeback or, you know, what, or, or get a free haircut. I mean, you know, get my mm. hair hair done or whatever because I didn't look out nah you know and so when you do good things and it, no matter what it'll always come back to you you know what I'm saying so I wasn't worried about not getting my hair done or whatever because I'm a chameleon I can I can change in any situation that I'm in you know what I'm saying if I'm a high class bitch I'm a high class bitch if I'm a medium bitch I'm a medium bitch like whatever circumstances I'm in or whatever I'm faced whatever role I'm in in that in that, that period or whatever chapter I'm in, I know how to adapt to it. So I put my hat on and call it a motherfucker. They put on them wigs if I need to. I know how to do, you know, I know how to work work with it. But anyway, I wanted to say that. So I thought that was nice. Not only that, y'all know I've been worried. Not really worried. Because I don't owe anything, you guys. I don't have any bills. I don't have um, no car notes. When I had my money, I paid everything cash. I cashed out everything. So I don't have any any bills but, like, lights, gas, and things like that. But I don't have no revenue, right? So I'm like, fuck, that's what I've been, like, worried about, right? And so me and her was talking, and we got some things she was telling me, like, boo, 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 you got so many options, and this, that, and the third. And it was crazy because... That's what that was really stressing me out. 
and I was telling a nice amount of people, and they couldn't help me. And then that's when I realized you must have a person that's a boss in your life. Like, if you have every, if everybody is workers in your life, all they can do is tell you how to get the next job. They can't tell you nothing higher than that. And because she's a boss and because she owns her own businesses and because she owns her own home, she was able to tell me certain things I can do that was that, that, that you know, she know a man where I can lease out my car. He got, he put trackers on the cars and when people come in town, uh, they can drive the cars. And I have two luxury nice cars people like. Instead of like, you know what I'm saying? Because some people, it's hard for them to rent cars at um, dealerships or whatever. But make a long story short, she was just telling me how, like, 10 ways to skin a cat that I didn't even think of. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I would lease my car or anything like that. But I'm just saying, you know, she thought on a boss level. Because I've been telling people my problem, a, a nice amount of people my problems. And they just act like they got no fucking answers. I'm like, what the fuck? But 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 look at the situation. I can see why. Yeah, you know, you can't get nothing from nothing that ain't there. So anywho, hopefully I y'all got something out of that. I don't know, but it made me feel much better today. So next week we're gonna really get together. And she's like, I, you know, I'm with you on this. She's like, I don't know, I, I don't know you that long. Amir. I don't know. I didn't know you that long. I don't know you that long. She said, but you, you just seem like you good people and you look out for people. And that's scandalous how people are. But we're going we gonna to rock this together. You know what I'm saying? You know? And um, I appreciate that. And then you guys know I was getting my body done, remember? And I paid a nice amount of money to get my body done, but I never went. So I don't, I never even try to pick up that money. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that I did that I got money laying all around that I haven't called back because I'm a really, I'm about it when I need to be, but I'm a very timid person. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I ain't around here. Like if you owe me something, I need my money. I ain't that type of motherfucking person. You know what I'm saying? But I put over maybe like four or $5,000 uh, for them to hold the spot for my surgery day to get my body done. Shit. Obviously, I'm not getting my body done. Um, is it refundable? Or is it half refundable? Or something like that. So she was just telling me, you know what I'm saying? She'll help me call, you know, and, and help me. So that was what's up. And I just appreciated that. So I'm very thankful. You know, you never know where, who your angels are. Now, this lady been in my life for a minute now. And her and her daughter is willing to help me figure out some things and make some things right for myself. And uh, And I don't even know her like that. You know, so God sends angels on earth to look out for you. You don't even know who they are. So that's why you got to be good to everybody because you never know who is your angel. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Watch how you do people. If you put good karma out, you know, good karma going to come back when it's needs, needed to, you know. So I just had to get that up off my chest. I thought that was nice and beautiful. And I'm so humble because nobody got to do nothing for, for me. Don't nobody got to do nothing for nobody. That's why when people are disrespectful. I don't understand that because don't nobody got to do nothing, no, nothing for nobody. My grandma told me when I was very young, a motherfucker can, sh can see you on fire and don't have to spit to even give you water, you know, to, to, to let you uh, not burn up. Nobody got to do nothing for you. So when someone does something for you, I don't give a fuck how small it is, how big it is, whatever the fuck it is. You be humble. You be gracious. You be thankful, motherfucker. Yeah, that's the lesson for today. You be grateful and thankful. These motherfuckers nowadays, they feel like people owe them something. You know what I'm saying? Like, they think they... I never was in this world thinking the world owed me anything. Maybe because my grandmother taught me very young that no one owes you nothing but yourself. Yourself owe... You owe you. You owe you. Your kids don't owe you. Your nigga don't owe, owe you. Your bitch don't owe you. Nobody owes you but you. You owe you to be great. You owe you to be amazing. Nobody else owes you nothing. You know, nobody should fight harder for your life than you fight for your life. You, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know who needed to hear that. Maybe nobody needs to hear it. I don't know, but it came to my mind. I thought it was important. Um, and so that's my thought on it. Well, what else? That's it, y'all. That's it. I'm tired as hell. You have to heal cause you, cause you did it. Are you done eating Zariah? Sorry, y'all, my life. Are you guys, are you done eating Zariah? Yeah, I'm done. Hold on a minute. Jules, are you done eating? Yeah. All right, cool.
Okay, bye. I'm done with chicken nuggets, so yeah. All right, That's cool. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Um, my time is going, but I definitely want to get on here and cut a video up real quick before I go home. Y'all will see me tomorrow because I'm going to tell everybody Happy Thanksgiving. And if you guys want to see the food, you know how it came out, what it tastes like, and all that, leave me in the comments down below, and I'll um I'll take a little bit of footage of my food or whatever. Um, what else? Yeah, this, I got this heater up high, and the more I keep talking and leaning back, y'all, I'm getting sleepy, I, and I need to get out these streets. I'm tired. I am tired. Yeah, I can't be guys pressing my clothes. What else? Um, what else I'm going to say? Oh, I got a couple of more minutes. I'm going to talk about this real quick. Now, I, maybe I'm, I'm late. I'm maybe, maybe a couple of days late. Maybe a week late. I don't know. I want to talk about two things real fast. One, I want to talk about Nicki Minaj and Megan, a stallion. You want me to light it for you? say Nicki Minaj was hating on Megan because Megan got a nominated or whatever for seven AMVs or some fucking award. I don't know. I, I'm not into that shit like that, so I don't know. But anyways, I heard of it and I heard what she was doing and shit like that. And, and then she wrote a whole speech of why she does not... Um, why she didn't get one when she was the hottest popping one um, because she got blackballed due to her wearing that Pope shit, right? So, when I just had to say this because I believe that this, this is going to all tie into what I'm talking about anyway. Um, she should have never went in on Megan. Like, you know, why? Megan has no, uh, no nothing with these people. She just did her job. And she didn't make them mad. <clears throat> and so she got a nominated uh, seven times or whatever. You know why you didn't win or, or get no award because you even said out your mouth that they was blackballing you because you wouldn't change your act and your dress, uh, dress clothes of, of the Pope or whatever. You know that. So why would you be mad at Megan like Megan did something wrong? That's the problem. We need to stop attacking each other when it's the really the white man. What she should have did is went hard on that nigga who she said um uh blackballed her, that white man. That's who she should she should have had all her trolls go over there and troll his ass. But don't be mad at Megan. Come on now. You didn't just had a baby. You married now. You know, you should you older now. You shouldn't be on that shit. You should really appreciate and be happy that a, a black woman won. Cause you said last year a white man went won. Or a couple of years ago a white man won. So, you know, I just feel like as women, let's be mad at the real person. It's basically like this. You go with a nigga, a nigga cheat on you or whatever, and you mad at the bitch. I, the bitch owes me nothing. The bitch don't know me. She don't owe me nothing. But the nigga do. The nigga owes me an explana explanation. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get, let's get angry with the real people. Mm -hmm. Megan just mm -hmm. out here, her mama died, she got a lot of shit with uh, that short ass boy and her toes and, you know, all of this. She don't got time for, for nobody hating on her right now. You know, support her. What you should have said was, you know what I'm saying, she, she should have made that speech like they blocked, they, you know, they uh, blackballed me, but I'm happy they opened it up for another black woman. I'm proud of her. Go ahead, Megan, do your thing. Because didn't they make a song, Hot Girls, some shit like that? I, that's why I understand how the fuck y'all can like each other, make a song, a big song. It went, it was up a little bit. It, went, it really did. And then all of a sudden, be tripping on her because they picked her. You know, I, I don't get that. I don't appreciate that. I don't get that. And I feel like she should have been older than that. You know, bitch, you should be older than that. So that was one thing I wanted to talk about. And the second thing I wanted to talk about, but I don't I ain't going to have enough time to talk about it, was um, I don't think I'm going to have time to talk about it. So I'm not going to start it off because I need time to talk about this. So I don't have time. But leave me in the comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you, you know, do you think um, Nicki Minaj handled the situation the right way? Or do you think that she should have congratulated her first and then talk shit? You know, something, you know. But don't, don't, don't do that. So, you know, y'all have a beautiful day. Night. Bye.